Today we're going to take a look at the Phoenix 440 ML. The first thing you'll notice on the control panel is we have a power indicator and a ready light indicator. There are two dials, one is for temperature, one is for speed. The ready light will go out when I turn the heat on and when it comes up to our desired temperature that will go back green indicating that the machine is ready to run. The other dial is our speed setting and it goes from 1 to 5 and there are presets in here for mounting thermal boards. There is a switch for forward operation, off, and reverse operation. The machine will only run in reverse with the foot pedal. The 440 ML has two shafts. One is for PSA over laminate and thermal film. The other one is for the PSA over laminate release liner. We have an idler bar that's used to keep the film flat and tight against the top roller. It also has a safety shield when doing thermal applications, which is removable. So I can pull that off. There is a photo eye that shoots a beam all the way across the machine, which will stop the rollers in case the operator gets too close and they don't want to get uh, pulled into the machine. There's also a print hold down bar that when the print goes through mounting or laminating, this will keep it from popping up and, and activating these photo eyes. You'll notice that the feed table is, is extra deep for posters, makes it easier for mounting and for laminating. Underneath that, we have three print holders, so you can put rolled prints in there or craft paper if you're doing a one-sided application. And that will allow you to run it through the machine. Over here, we have our temperature indicator. Right now, it's showing the temperature in the room. As this top roller heats up, that will move and change to show you what the temperature is. Down here, we have an emergency stop switch. In case anything goes wrong with the machine, you press this and it will shut the machine off, cuts all the power. To reset, you push, turn, and it will go back to operation. Around the back side of the machine, you'll see this little black box right here. There's an infrared heat sensor in here which monitors the temperature on this top roller. You want to ensure that this does not get blocked. You make sure that the, no film gets down in between there or posters or anything like that. Here we have a locking tray for doing posters that you are, you're mounting to a, a rigid substrate. It has two lot latches here, so you can drop it down when it's not in use. There are two fuses back here. One is for the motor and the other is for the heat. This is the main on-off switch. You have a cord for your foot pedal and your power. On this side of the machine, we have two knobs. This is the brake control for the top roll of film, whether it's PSA or thermal. This control is for the clutch setting for the PSA release liner. Down here, we have our gap and thermal settings. We have four, we have 1 16th, 1 8th, 3 16th, 1 quarter, and fully open. And that's for different uh, thicknesses of rigid substrates to mount to. Down here, you'll notice that the front casters have a locking mechanism so that the machine will stay in place and our foot pedal.